Oh my god. That was insane. Let's keep going. Okay, yeah, casually. Jesus. Even these like mini boss fights, because they're not technically bosses, they're just heartless. They're pretty intense. Man, if I have to fight Mufasa again or something, not Mufasa. Scar, not Mufasa. <gasps> There's the drawing! And the door to darkness, or the door to light, whatever that is. I it's in here. <gasps> oh, the kingdom key! Is that the keyblade Mickey had in the first game at the end? Is that what you're after? Yep, it's just the key I was looking for. A keyblade from the dark realm. A keyblade of darkness. The door of darkness. Tied by two keys. The door of darkness. To seal the light. Well, we've got the keys. Now, we find the ones to close the door. Sorry. The door between the two realms, it won't let a heart with light pass through. So, only darkness keeps spilling out. We can lock the door by using the two keyblades. But, we need help on both sides to get the door shut. Well then, since you'll be doing the locking, let me be the one to close the door. Sorry. But the job's taken by somebody else. Who? <laughs> what the fuck? Is this Kingdom Hearts 1? Man, are we time traveling now? I am not digging the time travel. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, you know, uh, not exactly. But even though it's smaller, it's still the heart of many worlds. And even if it's not a complete Kingdom Hearts, we definitely can't leave it open like this, or darkness will escape and destroy the remaining worlds. It's time. With this key and Sora's in the Realm of Light, we're gonna close this door. Now, all we need is Riku. Sora. Riku. There! <sighs> That's everybody! Come on, Aqua! Oh my god, again! <gasps> oh no! Hold up, why is Riku in his Kingdom Hearts 1 clothing? I'm so confused. <laughs> Oh my god, he's back in his Kingdom Hearts 1 clothing! So this happened... What the... What? I'm so confused! What'd she do? Aqua! Come on, you guys are supposed to get out! Mickey, all of Mickey's clothes fell off though, what? Not to fight him without Mickey? Okay. The battle for the Realm of Light is not one. Thanks to Tara and Mickey, I know what's at stake. I'm not afraid. I will face the long darkness. The 
next time someone wanders into the realm of darkness, I'll be here. A light to cut through all the shadows. I will be their wayfinder. Oh. And one day, I'll return to Terra and Ven. I am Master Aqua. And that's a promise. Oh, Jesus Christ, man! So wait, what? What? Look, that's that's Mickey in his underwear. Oh my! Wasn't that like Kingdom Hearts one finale, man? What's happening? What's the time going on? There it is. Now, sir, let's close this door for good. That's how they tied it back to the first game, but how is the timing like that, man? Ooh, a little framey. It's beautiful. Oh man, those clouds. The stars are out. Terra. Then. Just me again. They did it. The world's being restored. This is the ending of Kingdom Hearts 1. <clears throat> so is Destiny Island's gonna be restored? Oh yeah, it is. She's fallen back into the darkness, man. Oh, Aqua. May our hearts be our guiding key. You'll know. So is that so I that am. means that she brought back like Cinderella and Snow White's world, right? Or Sora did when he closed the key the gate. Oh, it's over! God damn it! <sighs> oh my god, that game was amazing. Oh. So let's try to process everything that happened. One, this entire game takes place in about the size of a Kingdom Hearts 3 world. It's a great size, it took about a couple hours I'd say to, to beat. And that's just going, like if, in Kingdom Hearts you're going to it the first time. Voice actress Willa Holland, she's from uh, Haley Joel Osment as Sora, oh god! Uh, Willa Holland's from Arrow, which is awesome. Um, but the world size is incredible, especially if you have to go back twice to like finish the story. I don't know if they're going to do that this time. I have, we have obviously no idea. And unfortunately, I don't think Kingdom Hearts 3 will be coming out until probably late 2018, which is killer, but we gotta suffer. This game was absolutely incredible, though. It looked so pretty. It was fun. It was basically a beta for Game Mind 3. That's what I have to call it. And... Man, I am so hyped now. Like, I was already sold on Kingdom Hearts 3 ever since I played the first one, but this uh, this was just a nice comeback, and like, here's what you can expect in the next one. Um, man, 10 out of 10. Honestly, I can't rate this game because I am like a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, so I'm obviously going to give it like a billion out of a billion, but man, it was just so good. Um... So anyway, the story, man. Obviously, this happens after birth by. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So she's been in the realm of darkness for ten years, and birth by sleep happens, you know, way before anything with Sora happens. Meaning, like, by the time. Wait, hold on. Okay. So Yen Sid's talking to. Uh... Wait. Oh my God! I <laughs> I just don't know. Okay. So basically when Yen sits there, he's like, alright, we have to reunite the three uh, sleeping people, you know, Terra, Aqua, and Ven. But I guess that's just at Kingdom Hearts three times. The time Mickey went back in time to get Aqua, because I, I can't really remember the intro to this game, but basically, what I'm thinking is like, they tell you that so they think it's right now, but actually, Mickey went back the first time trying to get her, and that's when, you know, all everything happened in Kingdom Hearts 1, and it explains why uh, 
why Mickey's there the first time. Obviously his clothing fell off because they have to make it fit into the, f the first game, but that is, that's awesome. So Aqua, you know, sacrificed herself so they could close the door to darkness. And she got to see Riku, man. She got to see Riku. Oh, that's awesome, dude. So she's still in the, uh, the <clears throat> dark world. And she's like, but she was on Destiny Islands, but because Destiny Island got brought back when Sora brought back all the worlds, it's basically, you know, she fell back into the darkness, but she's still there. Man, Jesus. So basically, where everyone's at, Terra's still combined with Xehanort, I think. I don't know, because if Xehanort's old, then I don't think he's connected, but because he's connected to Terra, he looks young. Which, that's kind of confusing, but there's that Venstone Castle Oblivion, which is where uh, Chain of Memories took place. Look at Terra, man, look at Terra! But that's where a Chain of Memories took place. So there's obviously a connection there. I, God, I got, I don't think I've ever beaten Chain of Memories because I got stuck at like one part in both the uh, handheld and console version. I need to go back and beat that. Um, that game was terrible when it came to fucking combat because you had to use those stupid cards. Um, what else? So Terra's stuck with uh, Xehanort and they're gonna have to somehow free him. And that'll probably make Xehanort revert back to his older self. They need to get Ven out of Castle Oblivion, and the only way to get him is to really bring Aqua out of the, the Dark Realm. And, uh, yeah, then you got, you know, them three. You got Riku, you got Kairi, you got Sora. I don't know if Kairi's a Keyblade Master, and I think Axel from uh, Organization 13 has a Keyblade too. I just don't know, man. There's so many different ways they could spin this that we literally just have to wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 to have any idea what's going on. But that's the credits, so let's see if there's anything after. I don't know that there's a secret ending in this game either, like if you have to complete every objective and you get it or something, so. I'll probably look that up. I'll probably play this game on my own quite a few times because it's only, you know, a couple hours. Enjoy it, really. But, man, I'm really looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3. They put in so much cool stuff in the boss fights and they're basically just like, here's what a boss fight's gonna feel like in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's just like, here's a spiral of uh, shadows. But, Kingdom Hearts 0.2, Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary Passage.